Hey party people, I'm Captain Zeus and welcome back to BP Fun. In today's video, I have some DC news that I'm going to be going over with you guys that have happened over the course of the last few days. I do apologize if this is late news. I've been kind of busy lately. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more nerdy content just like this and click the bell to be notified if you want to stay up to date with anything DC. Now, first things first, there's an animated Batman film that's coming out pretty soon, or at least in the works. And it's called Batman Azteca, and I'm going to mispronounce this last part, Choque de Imperios. The film follows a young Aztec boy who uses the temple of Hizinacan, totally mispronouncing that, the Bat God, as a lair to confront the Spaniard invasion and avenge his father's death. I'll be completely honest, I don't know why this film is even getting made. This is not something that I would have expected to come out of the DC animated films, considering all the stuff that they made is pretty good up until now, and they're all somewhat comic based. I don't see why this is being made. I'm not excited for this, I don't know who is, but if you are, please let me know in the comments below and why. Now, according to the in Snyder, clever name, the Jurassic League is in the works by DC Studios. There'll be an animated movie produced by James Gunn and written by Brian Lynch, who did the Minions. And I know a lot of people are excited for this because it helps DC expand from just focusing on the core regular heroes and expands outside of that into the more goofy and different aspects of the multiverse. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool addition. They'll probably make this like PG, you know, center this towards the child audiences, which again, I think that's fantastic. I'm I'm pretty excited for this one as well. I'd love to see a trailer pretty soon. Now, according to David Zaslav, which I hope I'm I'm hoping I say his name right. Casting for Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow has already started. Millie Alcock is still reprising her Superman legacy role as Supergirl. Anna Naguera is writing, but no director has been announced yet. David also says that the script is looking very good and is near completion. I mean, that's great. I think this is good news, although it is kind of a little bit of a red herring or a red flag that we don't have a director for this movie. We have a writer. We have the main star. Are, why do we not have a director? I think that's the first thing you should be looking for. And it is a little concerning considering all the hype James Gunn was putting into the fact that you're not going to cast someone without a director, without a script. The director is going to choose the vision of the film. So unless Anna is directing this film, I'm very worried about the future of this. And I hope this is something that he's not doing intentionally. And it's something that David, the head of Warner Brothers, is doing. So that way I can just blame him. <laughs> but we'll see. Now, Dave Batista says his journey with Drac is over. Over, but he's not done with superhero movies. According to Variety, he's quoted saying, I love the universe, so Marvel or DC, if they call, I would answer the phone. I just would like the opportunity to do a bigger, deeper role, an ominous villain. A lot of people are wanting him to do Dr. Hugo Strange. I think that's a fantastic casting. Some people are also wanting him to do Bane, which personally I think would be cool, but it would be better to have an actual Hispanic person represent Bane. But I think Dave Bautista's Hugo Strange would be fantastic. Now, a super cool idea that I've seen online has been circling around Around recently, and I hope you guys will enjoy this. It's Edgar Wright making an Adam movie or show. I think it's a fantastic idea. He did Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and he also wrote the first Ant-Man movie. He was supposed to direct it, but creative differences, he did write the screenplay for it. But again, I think this is a fantastic choice considering the similarities between the two characters. I mean, it's hard to say no. I think I think this would be a great thing for them to do. Now, I think the big news that everybody's excited for, we have our first look at the Superman costume for Superman Legacy. For Superman Day, James Gunn posted the new emblem for the upcoming Superman movie. He also said that principal photography has started and that the film's name is being changed, stating, when I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear that the title was Superman. Making our way to you, July 2025. Happy birthday, Clark. And yes, the emblem is inspired by Alex Ross's Superman design. I think this is fantastic. I mean, the last time we had a movie called Superman was like, what, 1947 or something? I'm, I don't know. I think it's the Christopher Reeves first movie. But I I think this is a great way to start the DCU off. I think this is a great near full circle, nice refresher. And the design looks really cool. I love the emblem. It is, oh, it gives me chills. It's like I'm looking at the Henry Cavill version, whereas that one was more homage to like the current Superman designs and story. Whereas this one might be something that's pre-Flashpoint, hence the Alex Ross designs. And I mean, this could be hinting that this universe is going to be based off of the Kingdom Come universe, which that's going to be wild. I don't think we've ever seen anything about that in the DC animated or live action films. So I think this would be a great way to be a little bit more unique with their vision and stances going forward with modern characters. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Captain Zeus and I'll catch you guys later. See you.